Welcome to Sawdust and Wood today. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to go over how to measure, lay out, and cut a gable roof rafter. And um, we're going to measure this picnic table long ways and calculate a roof rafter to meet in the middle. And I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, so today I'm going to show you how to make a roof, an 812 pitch roof for this table for the span of 42 inches using the step off method with a framing square, which I prefer to, that I think everyone should know how to do this, even if you're going to use a book on rafter tables or the roof framers bible, you should still know how to do this to have a really good understanding. So I'm going to teach you how to do it. All right, so we're measuring the span of this picnic table and it's 42 inches, so three foot six. So we need to find half of that and that's gonna be one foot nine inches will be the middle. So we need to figure out rafters for one foot and nine inches of run. Okay. So the half span of this table is one foot nine inches. So we're going to do an 812 pitch roof, meaning for every foot of run on this table, for every foot of run, the roof will rise eight inches. That's what 812 means. So you set your framing square to eight right on the edge of the board. And you can see right here why I have eight. 8 is on the edge and you set the 12 here for a common rafter. So I have 8, 12. Now I'm going to mark right here and that's going to be the plumb cut. That's going to be the center line of the roof where it meets the ridge board. Okay now I'm going to mark 8, 12 right here. One mark for my plumb cut. And then I'm going to make a mark where the 12 is, right here, on an angle. Okay, so I made a mark where the 8 is, and now I've come to the 12, and i got a mark right here. So this is going to be one step off. This is one foot. Alright, so there's the plumb cut. Here's my next mark where the 12 was. So now what I want to do is get 8 and 12 again and get lined up right on this mark. Get my framing square here to 8 and 12. Get right on this mark. Okay, I'm lined up on the mark now. 8 and 12. So I'm going to make my mark at the 8 and I'm going to write a 1 right here. That's for my first step off. That's the first foot. Okay, so I got my first mark. So that's one foot. I need one foot nine inches. I'm going to count nine inches up on the square right here and I'm going to mark it. So that's one foot nine inches. Now you do the same thing. You slide your square over. 8 and 12 on this mark right here and this is the length of your rafter all right so here's our first mark off one foot and then this is the nine inches so this is the total length of our rafter now we've got to notch the bird's mouth and I'm going to show you how I do that so I'm going to take my framing square Put it right on the line right here. Move it up until normally your top plate, if it's a two by four, it'll be three and a half inches. So normally I'll move this till I get about three inches. And if you see, oh. all right, you can see I'm lined up with the line and that's gonna be three inches. So I'm going to make that mark right here. And 
and that is the bird's mouth and that's where the raptor is going to sit on the wall all right so i got my step off so i got the one foot and the nine inches this is my bird mouth so this is sitting at the end of my rafter right here the top plate this rafter sits at the end of the top plate now let's say i want two inches of overhang i'll take my square and i will put it on this line and make a mark right here at two inches let's see if i can do this while i'm holding the phone all right see i put my mark right here I'm going to take my square, I'm going to go 812 again, I'm going to go 812, get right on this line, alright, we're 8 and 12, and I'm going to make a mark right here. Okay, I got my mark now, and that's gonna be my two inch overhang. Now we are gonna cut this out. This is gonna be scrap right here. I'm gonna cut the bird's mouth out. I'm gonna cut the tail of the rafter here. And I'm gonna cut the plum cut here. Alright, got my first rafter cut. Now what we're going to do is just put this on top of this other board and trace it out and cut it. And it's going to, that'll be our pattern. Alright, here everything is cut out, put up, just sitting together. You can see my first step off, one foot, nine inches, two inches. That's the bird mouth, how it will sit on the top of your wall right here now on a real roof we'll have a ridge board right here so I would need to come back and cut three quarters of an inch off on this side and three quarters of an inch off on this side so the ridge board would fit and every rafter would be cut like that so when I initially made the first pattern once I laid everything out I'll come back and cut three quarters of an inch off and I'll show you real quick how to do it so I'm take the plumb cut of your rafter, put your square right on the edge of it, and hold it down like this, and mark three quarters of an inch. And I'll do that again right up here. Okay, so I got 12 lined up and 8 for 812 pitch roof. And it's on both of my marks. So I would draw a line right here. Then I will come back and cut this, this section off. And do that to all your rafters. And that's going to allow room for your ridge board to sit in the middle. Thanks for watching. I hope you understand how to step off rafters using the step off method with a framing square. You can do this for any length of rafter you need. When I built my shed, I did a 612 pitch and I had an eight foot span. So I took half of the span, which was four foot. And I'm gonna show you the rafters real quick. That's a 612 pitch, four foot. Eight foot total, four foot in the middle. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hit the like button.